Ministerial Declaration on the Global Effort to Combat Terrorism. Adopted by the Security Council at its 4,413th meeting, on 12 November 2001, the Security Council decides to adopt the attached Declaration on the Global Effort to Combat Terrorism. Annex. The Security Council. Meeting at the ministerial level. Recalling its resolutions 1269, 1999, of the 19th of October 1999, 1368, 2001, of the 12th of September 2001 and 1373, 2001, of the 28th of September 2001, declares that acts of international terrorism constitute one of the most serious threats to international peace and security in the 21st century. Further declares that acts of international terrorism constitute a challenge to all states and to all humanity. Reaffirms its unequivocal condemnation of all acts, methods and practices of terrorism as criminal and unjustifiable, regardless of their motivation in all their forms and manifestations, wherever and by whomever committed. Stresses that acts of international terrorism are contrary to the purposes and principles of the Charter of the United Nations, and that the financing, planning and preparation of as well as any other form of support for acts of international terrorism are similarly contrary to the purposes and principles of the Charter of the United Nations underlines that acts of terrorism endanger innocent lives and the dignity and security of human beings everywhere, threaten the social and economic development of all states and undermine global stability and prosperity. Affirms that a sustained, comprehensive approach involving the active participation and collaboration of all member states of the United Nations, and in accordance with the Charter of the United Nations and International Law is essential to combat the scourge of international terrorism. Stresses that continuing international efforts to broaden the understanding among civilizations and to address regional conflicts and the full range of global issues, including development issues, will contribute to international cooperation and collaboration, which themselves are necessary to sustain the broadest possible fight against international terrorism welcomes the commitment expressed by states to fight the scourge of international terrorism, including during the General Assembly plenary debate from 1 to 5 October 2001, calls on all states to become parties as soon as possible to the relevant international conventions and protocols relating to terrorism, and encourages member states to take forward work in this area calls on all states to take urgent steps to implement fully Resolution 1373-2001, and to assist each other in doing so, and underlines the obligation on states to deny financial and all other forms of support and safe haven to terrorists and those supporting terrorism expresses its determination to proceed with the implementation of that resolution in full cooperation with the whole membership of the United Nations, and welcomes the progress made so far by the Counter-Terrorism Committee established by Paragraph 6 of Resolution 1373-2001, to monitor implementation of that resolution recognizes that many states will require assistance in implementing all the requirements of Resolution 1373-2001, and invites states to inform the Counter-Terrorism Committee of areas in which they require such support. In that context, invites the Counter-Terrorism Committee to explore ways in which states can be assisted, and in particular to explore with international regional and sub-regional organizations. Are the promotion of best practice in the areas governed by Resolution 1373-2001, including the preparation of model laws as appropriate. Are the availability of existing technical, financial, regulatory, legislative or other assistance programs which might facilitate the implementation of Resolution 1373 2001. Are the promotion of possible synergies between these assistance programs. 
calls on all states to intensify their efforts to eliminate the scourge of international terrorism.